from all my beautiful signs and souls of the zodiac i'm brenda brenda tarot and i'm here again today to bring you your three card oracle messages for october the 6th 2019. i truly want to thank you again for viewing liking sharing and most of all subscribing to my videos when you do subscribe please click the bell button and you'll get notified immediately when these are produced and out on open air for you to view as you know, every card may not resonate with you because this is a general reading, a collective reading, but some of it will and run with it. What doesn't? Throw it out into the universe. If you want clarity, accuracy, and answers to any questions, then I welcome you to click the little icon in the top right hand corner of this video and it will take you directly into my website where you can see the services that I offer. All the other information, my beautiful signs and souls of the zodiac, is posted below this video. Okay, starting off today from the Nature's Whispers deck, you have been given illumination. And this is basically telling me, you know, that, um, you know, there's hope and guidance for you. And you need to have faith. If you're thinking about something that you don't think you can proceed and do, then, you know, just have faith. Just holding on to a belief in yourself will plant the seed of manifestation in your life. So it's having faith, believing that you can do it, and looking forward to it actually happening uh, and working out successfully. You're being asked to release any worry or fear that you may be harboring within yourself. The clarity you desire is at hand. All you need is something in which to place your faith. So trust in yourself. Support yourself and the divine because you are being supported by the divine. You will be assisted in different times. This can also signify inspiration and a new love coming into some of you. There is a shedding of light on hidden treasures or surprises. This is a great message coming into you. So this is all about you looking forward to changes and new things coming in and not being afraid to accept them and believe that they're gonna work out in your favor today. Coming in with the Oracle Wisdom, uh, wisdom rather, of the Oracle deck, you have been given never-ending story. So, you know, sometimes fear, envy, or procrastination and greed and the perception of victimhood could all be active in our lives at this time for some of us, okay? Um, are you comparing yourself with others, thinking their success should be yours? Maybe you're afraid of all the good that is coming your way, so you step out of your lane, totally aware of what you're doing, but seemingly lessly powerless to stop yourself. Are you back where you started, or in a situation that reminds you of the past? The past failures, perhaps. Financial insecurities are scaring you. Are they? Are financial securities scaring you? You must learn to love yourself through missteps and sabotaging moments, and use you know, use this situation uh, and criticism constructively right now. Better yet, stop telling this story altogether, okay? Make up a new one. The universe loves you deeply and will wait for you to figure that out. Tell a new story of success, but all guaranteed that you can do it, okay? Know that you can do this. Know that you can do this, okay? Self-criticism is hard on all of us. We have to let go. We can't allow that to sabotage us when we're moving forward on our path towards our goals. Some of you may be feeling, you know, you've got a wounded ego. Perhaps, you know, you've had some disappointments and you're allowing that energy to, you know, keep you in uh, an immobilized state. Um, it's dealing with drama, unnecessary drama, allowing other people's drama to uh, become a burden of ours. So this is all about you, uh, you know, letting go letting go not staying in a cycle of negativity today so let go of any of that that you shouldn't carry with you don't be so hard on yourself none of us are perfect what is it you need to do what is it you need to let go of surrender your belief in scarcity the universe is asking you to open to the infinite nature of abundance in this way you can remove blocks in your life and succeed beyond your wildest dreams okay so you know what you know this is you know, like it says, the universe is asking you to open to the infinite nature of abundance. So know that abundance can come into you, all right? If you let go of the negativity, if you allow yourself to accept things coming into you, new things coming into you, looking forward to new things coming into you, then you're opening that gateway for the abundance to, op to come into, to flow towards you, okay? To be attracted towards you. Your final outcome card from the Goddess Guidance deck is Guardian. 
you and your loved ones are safe and spiritually protected. So some of you have had concerns about your family, um, about, you know, about someone close to you or even fears within your own personal circle. Know that uh, you're being protected. You know, the angels and the divine are watching over you and your family basically is what it's telling me. And that your future and is secure and safe. All your needs are being met and always will be. The worst is now behind you. So this is a great positive card. If you've been concerned and worried about a situation with a family member or yourself, uh, and it can be in any department, it can be health, it can be finances, it can be, you know, in, in, in the relationship and romance part of your life. Know that you're being watched over and you're being guided and that it will work out in your favor. It'll all work out and smooth out. So don't worry about it, okay? I want you to, you know, I want you to believe that abundance can come into you. And abundance can come into you in many ways. It can be your financial and your relationship. Uh, it can be time and effort as well. So this is your reading. Don't be afraid, okay? Don't be afraid of new things coming in. Step up on your path. Light your own path. Be, be noticed. Take notice and illuminate your path in front of you to be able to see with the third eye what it is you want to see with the, with the third eye chakra, to be able to open up the crown chakra, to allow it to come into you. And you know what? Let go of the constant, um, you know, negative behavior. Maybe some of you have addictive negative behavior and it's sort of taken over you and you, you find it hard to get rid of, but you can do this. Step out of that and don't take on other people's burdens or worries that aren't yours to carry. And believe in the abundance coming in here. It's, it's coming in, it's being divinely and, or, and orchestrated for, to you by the universe to come into you, that you will have, you know, you will see abundance coming into you. This is a great card. This is a beautiful card of being protected by your guardians, by your guides, by your angels, knowing that they see what it is you need. And all you got to do is step into it, step up into your goals, okay? Now, I want you to remember this again, and I say this every day to you. The universe and the divine, your higher power, wants you to succeed and find your happiness and peace. So surrender to it and move forward towards your goals and happiness. Blessings, my beautiful souls, and know that I always and only stand in this circle of love and light for you. See you tomorrow.